Nemo Radio is on the air. A, B, C. A, always B, B, C. Closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Come after me! I'm a man! I'm 40! Obviously, this is Noon with Nemo. I am John Nemo. Um, so excited to have you here. Obviously, we are going to have fun today. I'm a complete goofball, as you know. My son just did a double take. Get over here. Uh, I'm live online right now. Anything's possible. Anything's possible! You want to be on camera? Come here. Everybody say hi to Jacob. Come on in here. Get in here. Say hello. Hello. What do you think of your dad now? <laughs> That's quite the outfit. Can you believe I make money on the internet? Hard to believe. I know. All right. Come in here on camera. All right. What's your best advice for everybody here on Nuno Themo today? Uh, have a good time. All right. That that's the spirit. Get out of here. Shut the door. All right. <laughs> that's the spirit of Nuno Themos. We're gonna have a good time, but I'm actually going to bring value and training to you. Uh, we're gonna cover email marketing today. So I'm gonna share my favorite tips and scripts and strategies and all of those different things. So without further ado, what I want to do is dive into email marketing today. Um, obviously, the key to really having a successful business, the lifeblood, I would argue, of your business is email marketing. Not only building an email list, but getting into people's inbox on a regular basis, getting them to engage with you, reply to you, you know, act on your email. So what I want to do is hop off camera for a minute um, and share a little bit of my email marketing training. And then I'll still be live in the comments and everything. So as we get into this, um, you know, make sure that you're sharing and asking questions in the chat. But without further ado, let's dive into email marketing, kind of part one, where I want to cover some of my core email marketing tips for you. So let's dive in. So now I want to get into the topic of email marketing. This can really become the lifeblood of your business. And this is honestly my favorite form of content marketing. If you're on my email list, you know how much fun I have with the email messages that I'm sending out. And this has really proven to me over the years to be an incredible source of engagement and business and customer service and all kinds of different things. So I really want to walk through what goes goes into effective email marketing. That's what we're going to cover in this video. As far as setting up funnels and landing pages and the logistics and opt-ins and uh, autoresponder sequences and all those things, we'll get into that in section three when we talk about converting content into you know paying customers. Right now, I want to talk about deploying email, deploying it as part of your content marketing strategy. And in using marketing emails, what it makes them effective, what makes people engage, that's the key that we're going to focus on. So I've been doing some research for this module just to see how popular is email right now today as I'm recording this. And it's still amazingly strong. You know, who's using email? In the U.S. alone, more than 85% of adults send or read email. Now, that's great, but this is what blew my doors off. And, and this is so true. I'm guilty of this. You probably are too. 99% of consumers check their personal email every day. But here's the really good part. Some people, and I'm probably higher than this, check their email inbox 20 times or more per day. Think about that for a second. Your ideal prospects, your ideal customers, you know, 80 to 90 percent of them are using email daily. And of that 80 to 90 percent, they're checking their email constantly, like at least once an hour. So, again, the point of this is email is still more relevant than ever as a form of content marketing. So when we talk about the type of emails that get opened and engaged with and responded to, it really comes down to understanding the psychology of our inbox. I don't know about you, but you know when I check my email 20 times a day, I'm not excited or just rushing in to my iPhone to check and see who sent a newsletter, <laughs> who sent a company update, who sent industry news, you know, who sent something formal and stiff and boring and business jargon filled kind of text. I don't want that. What I want and what you want and what your ideal clients and customers want with the emails they receive is what I call info Entertainment. They want the information, the value, something that's going to help them, but they also want to be entertained. And so the psychology of a really effective marketing email is having a 
conversational tone, an entertaining kind of fun tone, the type of tone you take with your friends. When you send your friends email, you don't have all capitalized, formal, stiff subject lines, do you? You have quick conversational exchanges. Your subject line might be something like, did you see this question mark? Or can you believe it question mark? Or amazing. And that's it, right? It's very conversational. And this is where it starts with your email subject lines. Understanding using a lowercase conversational type phrase works really well to get people curious, to capture their attention. It's conversational and it fits on a mobile device. A couple short words, people as they're skimming and thumbing through their phone, their mobile device, write a long-winded subject line is just gonna get cut off with the dreaded dot, dot, dot. You wanna have a short subject line that fits into a mobile device. So here's an example of some of my favorite email subject lines, and I shared these back in video 10. I'll share this document again, but phrases like, it just works, or again, this is very conversational, caught me by surprise. What caught you by surprise? I'm curious, what was it? Or amazing moment, such a powerful photo. Now I'm curious, what was the photo of? And then, of course, there's a story behind it. Or you can ask questions. Have you thought about this? Would you ever do this? Again, conversational tone. Even just a single word or two, yikes, incredible. Did you hear the news? Bad idea, right? (laughs) Like, there's lots of uh, curiosity built into these subject lines that is hard to replicate if it says newsletter colon 2018 industry earnings stats like nobody wants to read that again to be successful with email marketing you've really got to have something that's personal and conversational so as i mentioned in section one one of my favorite things to do when creating content is a personal story plus a business lesson that works incredibly well for email marketing perfect example As I was putting together this online course that you're watching right now, something happened. (laughs) I faced some serious adversity. It was late on a Friday night. I was trying to get a few more video modules recorded for you and for this training, and my computer crashed. I had a software glitch. I lost over 60 minutes of recording and editing. It was just devastating. And so here I am on a Friday night, just miserable, facing adversity, working on this online course. And so naturally, by now you know me, what's the first thing I thought? Well, there's probably a lesson in this. There's probably a piece of content I can create. (laughs) I can create some content from my misery, right? So sure enough, I turned this in to a piece of content and I sent it out on Friday night. And what I said was in the subject line, let me highlight it for you. Subject line, I said a Friday night confession. And what I decided was I'm going to take a personal story of this adversity I ran into on a Friday night, and I'm going to turn it into a little confessional. I'm going to take you behind the scenes as someone on my email list to really engage with me. And so I started out with this quote that had come up earlier in the day. One of my kids was doing a school report on you know great quotes and famous uh, business people, and he used this quote from Steve Jobs. I'm convinced about half of what separates successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. And so I started the email with that quote. And then I just talked about, you know, life has been kicking my rear end. We've had a lot of stuff going on with my family and different things that have taken me away from work. And, you know, my business coach, I was talking about, he said, you're not making excuses. You've got legitimate reasons why you're having a rough go right now. And, you know, as I'm talking about this, so I'm working on a Friday night, right? Sent the wife and kids out, trying to get videos done for this new course. 60 minutes just got lost with a software glitch. You know, it's been one obstacle after another. And I I get into the mindset element too. And and I know this is something people can relate to. And this I'll also talk about in a minute, but mixing in practical with aspirational, really understanding mindset can play a huge role in connecting with your audience. So I'm talking about even me, who, you know, hopefully some people at least view as successful creating these online courses, successful entrepreneur, right? Even I'm talking about, you know, Friday night confession, fear and anxiety are pounding on the door. Failure keeps cackling at me. Tell me how badly I'm blowing it. You know what? I'm not giving up. And this is where I pivot to my audience, right? I'm, I'm imbuing to them that I believe in you. Like you, I say, 
I will persevere. And then I say, like you, I will pick myself up, dust myself off, and get back into the arena. Because again, I want people who have this type of mindset of, I know it's not going to come easy. I know I'm going to get knocked down, but I'm going to get back up. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep battling. I want to be uncommon. I want to be unique. I want to succeed. I'm not afraid of adversity. So I'm calling to those people, flipping it back to them to motivate them. And then I say, right, remembering we're in this together. This is a big thing to build that trust and that empathy with your audience is I'm in the trenches with you. I'm an ally. I'm a mentor. I'm like Yoda. They're like Luke Skywalker. Let's get up. Let's keep moving. I'm in the trenches alongside you, cheering you on. Keep persevering. And I got so many messages back from this. So many people wrote back and said, this is exactly what I needed. I don't normally open emails on a Friday night. Your subject line caught my curiosity, right? A Friday night confession. What does he have to confess? You know, but then it was tapping into the mindset and the psychology of your audience. Conversational. Hey, I'm having struggles. I want you to know you're not alone if you're feeling this too. That's the way to create engaging email. Now, notice nowhere in this did I put a call to action, a sales message, anything like that. You've got to understand when you do email marketing, it's really relational. It's really building trust and relationship, knowing when is the time to sell, when is the time to ask for something, when is the time just to have a conversation, when is the time to tell a joke. You know, just like you build relationships in real life, you build relationships through email marketing. So if I look at my most recent batch of emails that I've been blasting out to my list, you know, this one is a sales email, but it's not designed in a pushy way. It's basically saying, hey, I'm going to be speaking at this big industry event. Do you want to join me? If you're coming, let me know. Let's meet up. And I disclose in there that, yes, here's my affiliate link to the event. If you sign up to go, uh, I get compensated, right? But that's a soft sell. Now, we've got uh, a straight training video using LinkedIn for lead generation and, again, a conversational topic. It was so exciting. And I'll break that email down for you in a minute. But just looking at the variety, then I'm talking about the overcoming adversity. No training, no sales pitch, just a Friday night confession. I'm in the trenches with you. This, you know, adversity I ran into tonight on Friday made me think of you. I know that like you, I'm going to keep persevering, etc. Then I've got uh, a couple of emails I wrote and split tested. These are sales emails, and these are based off of Mary Henderson, a student inside my LinkedIn Riches training, had some amazing success. And so I tell her story, right, the moment that changed everything, and talking about her use of LinkedIn and her story, and then a life-changing moment was the split test. I, I sometimes test different subject lines. And then I pivot to, if you want to see how Mary did this, and if you want to replicate her results, you know, then go on this webinar where I have my LinkedIn Riches online course. But that's the idea is mixing these in. So VR, virtual reality, uh, I used a story, again, a personal story plus an invite. So let me walk through a few of these to show you how it goes, how email psychology is. So let's take this as an example. It was so exciting. This is a straight training piece of content. All this is, is a link to a training video and a blog post on how to generate leads with LinkedIn. So I could have made the subject line training video, how to find leads using LinkedIn search and how to engage, right? <laughs> like that would have been so boring. So instead I turned it in to a conversational fun story. It was so exciting. What was, right? And then I start with the first lines, right? My fingers couldn't fly fast enough along the keyboard, I, right? I'm painting a scene. Think of this like a movie or a screenplay. A grin flashed on my face as I imagined the reaction of my new LinkedIn connection. And then I say, here's what I sent him, right? And then it's a GIF, an animation animated image of my favorite college mascot, Goldie Gopher, crushing our arch rival, our nemesis, our enemy, Bucky Badger, you know, in a fake wrestling stunt, you know, and I'm talking about, again, pivoting from the funny story. Trust me, there's a professional purpose behind this. And then I talk about how to engage on LinkedIn. And then in this case, for my list of people, I'm basically bringing you over and saying, if you want to see how I went through this, 
go over here to my blog and video and you can watch and see how to use LinkedIn for lead generation. Now I used this title because when I published this video on YouTube, I wanted a very practical how to title. So using LinkedIn for lead generation. And then in this video, I walk through on a screen recording, again, content marketing, here's how to use LinkedIn for lead generation. Here's how I'm going in looking at people's profiles personalizing my messages. Here's how to do one-on-one -on -one marketing with LinkedIn. Okay. And at the bottom, of course, I've got a call to action. I'm always connecting the content, go over, get on my webinar. But the whole point was I delivered that with a fun infotainment type email, conversational, chatty, kind of funny, putting some goofy images, right? And I say, in case you're from Wisconsin and a fan of that school, you know, here's a parting shot, right? And that's our mascot throwing a snowball on welcome to Wisconsin, as it should be, right? And again, one more quick example of this, always looking for a personal story plus a business lesson. So I took my kids to the mall. And they went to this virtual reality arcade. You can see it here where this is the Jurassic Park ride. So you sit in this thing that looks like a Jeep. You put on this virtual reality headset and then dinosaurs are chasing you, right? And the, the chairs are moving and wind blows from a fan and it feels real, okay? I said it was terrifying, conversational, all lowercase, just like I would send to a friend. Someone is going to see that subject line and say, what was terrifying? What happened? Are you okay? Did you see a ghost, right? And so I start again with storytelling. The earth shook. My son screamed in terror at what was approaching. Remember, these first few lines are critical because on a mobile device, when you see a preview of an email and on most desktop clients too, you only see the subject line and the first few lines of an email. So you really have got to earn their curiosity to click through. That's why the subject line and then the first couple lines of your email are so important because again, that lures people into the story. Okay, the earth shook. My son screamed in terror. Whoa, what was happening, right? The roar of the dinosaur was deafening. It looked like there was no way out. And then I pivot to, and then the ride stopped, right? The boys were at a virtual reality place. This is what it looked like. Because again, I'm bringing images in uh, to help tell the story. And herein lies the lesson. I pivot to the business lesson. And again, it's from a book on mindset. And so I'm just talking again about how's your mindset? Are you working on this? Are you, you know, taking control of your thoughts and making sure that they don't impact you negatively with business? But there's another example of a simple way to take a personal story plus a business lesson, turn it into an email that gets opened and engaged with. So the other key element of successful email marketing, along with conversational and infotainment, that those approaches, you also want to share the journey. You really want to help people feel like you are in the trenches too, or you have walked in their shoes. This is very, very important. People will not buy from you if they don't feel like you get their world, if they don't feel like you understand what it is like or what it was like. That's so important to share your story of, I was once in your shoes, I once had these challenges, here's the obstacles I overcame, I want to show you how to do the same thing. Remember that hero's journey, those three simple phrases, what it was like, what happened, and what it's like now. If you can take those three phrases and integrate those into your email marketing, you're gonna have a lot of success connecting and engaging with your audience. People want you to be relatable. They wanna know that you've had tough times. Being transparent, being authentic, sharing your journey, obstacles overcome, that's the stuff that great email is made of. So as an example, when I get someone new onto my LinkedIn Riches email list, where I eventually want to sell them my LinkedIn Riches online training course, I start with a subject line, my big secret, my big LinkedIn secret. But look where I'm starting with transparency. Transparency. Back in 2012, I was terrified. I was also excited. And I talk about my hero's journey. I just quit my safe six figure day job to start a new business from scratch. I had, and this is a true story, by the way, I had one client, enough money for 30 days, and my wife was at home with our three young boys, right? That would be the terrified part. I'm telling you, if you're a solopreneur, a business coach, a consultant, a small business owner, I've been in your shoes. Like I know what it's like to leave behind the corporate world, the safe day job and start your own business. And I say, I also had a plan, right? And then I talk about, you know, what it was like. I was terrified, right? What happened was I had a plan and within 90 days, 
I generated six figures in revenue, all of it from LinkedIn, right? That was what happened. And then what it's like now, you know, I've got all this freedom and things like that, but I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. I believe in you. It's possible. This is a formula that you can replicate. It's easier than you think. And then I pivot back to the audience. What's your why? I want to get into your emotional headspace. What, you know, if you can relate to this, quitting your day job, wanting more freedom, tell me what it is, right? Why do you do what you do? And again, I like to use images to humanize myself. So here I am back around 2012, coming home from that soul sucking, draining day job to my three young boys and thinking, man, I got to be home more. I don't want to miss their childhood. And now one of them's in high school, right? Like they've grown up so fast the past six years. And this is the idea sharing the journey. I didn't start as some LinkedIn guru with all the answers and this, you know, successful course and best selling book. Like I started out terrified. I started out with one client and enough money for 30 days. That's me. That's the truth of my journey. And the beautiful thing is, People, when you start them there, they go, oh, okay, you started there and now you're here. I believe I can follow your footsteps and follow your path and do the same thing. So I'll get into this more when we get into sales funnels and autoresponders and email sequences. But even if you just look through the LinkedIn Rich's emails, I'm mixing in case studies of people that are having success just like you, right? Just like me. I'm talking about tips like here's how to create a profile, just straightforward and practical, how to go viral on LinkedIn, you know, a mega blog where I share a bunch of information, uh, more case studies. You know, how to get celebrities to endorse you, right? Then some mindset things, a Rick Warren mindset story. Um, Another thing about how to find new leads in 14 seconds or less. Inviting to my sales webinar, right? Pivoting over to more tips with advanced searches. Another mindset thing about Babe Ruth. Another thing about the importance of emotion. You know, then pivoting back to inviting people again to a sales webinar. Mixing in the practical the aspirational, and the emotional. That's the key with email marketing. You're entertaining people, you're delivering information, you're delivering value, you're delivering quick wins that they can utilize and do things with, but you're also building a relationship. They start to feel like they really know you. They know your life, they know your passions, they know your hobbies, they know your journey. Where did you come from? What were the things that shaped you into where you're at now? And why are you so passionate about the things you are? Are now. Remember, we're dealing with human beings. We're dealing with relational creatures. So we really want to focus on that in our email marketing. Take a close look at this video. Watch it again. Pay attention to the notes. Pay attention to the attachments that go with this video, the subject lines, some of the sample emails. Get a feeling for those tones that I use, the conversational, the infotainment, the personal story plus a business lesson, pivoting into what's in it for the audience, mixing in the practical and the aspirational. All of these elements are what go into successful email marketing. And the more you do it, the more people are going to engage and the more email really does become the lifeblood of your business. So with that said, I leave you to it. Soak in some of these examples. Start testing it out. Start writing some emails like this. And when you're ready, let's move on to the next video. I'm back, baby. I'm telling you, (laughs) I'm just waiting for anybody to join the webinar late. They're going to be like, what is going on? I don't have a hockey game after this as much as I want to be out playing on the ice. It's Halloween weekend. I'm John Nemo. I have to be in full gear. We're gearing up for Halloween. Um, Did you find this helpful? Do you want more email marketing tips? If you do, put yes in the comments or I'll punch myself here in the head, but it won't hurt. Okay, Jerry had a good question. Um, He said, can you scale this, right? I'm looking for a solid kind of part-time practice. I'm not sure what you meant there, practice maybe, but I don't want to market around the clock. Yeah, the whole idea, Jerry, is you can write the email once and then scale it and use it over and over and over again. And that's what all the current email marketing tools and CRMs and all these sequences, they'll let you scale, scale, scale. So the idea is, and the way that I built my business, once someone indicates interest and says, yeah, I'm interested in whatever the topic is, I just drop in their email or better yet, they opt in themselves and they get emails over and over and over again. I write it once and it sends it forever. So, okay. And then Stephen had a question public water utilities are very technical and communications are always an issue. And that's a good point, Stephen, but 
the thing about it too is like, yes, and, and I get this a lot when I talk to attorneys or doctors or physicians or very, you know, stiff kind of formal technical industries. There's still human beings on the other end of your email. So there's no reason you can't still put in personality, inject enthusiasm, inject humor, you know, talk shop. Like the reality is when public water utility officials get together, they don't just sit there like robots and talk in complete jargon the whole time, right? Like they're still human. They still talk about the weather, baseball, you know, kids, whatever. So find ways to, yes, deliver whatever the information is in your email to those audiences technically about whatever the, you know, public water utility thing is, but put in personality, right? Or use stories. So maybe there's a good story about a utility issue that came up for a client or utility issue in a municipality. And you can tell that story and illustrate, you know, the technical stuff too. But there is, there are ways to do it. Like the thing we forget when we're email marketing is that there are actual legitimate human beings reading these, right? <laughs> like same with LinkedIn messages, same with everything else. You are real people. All of you watching right now are real humans. You are not robots. So you're responding to me, you're reacting, you have sense of humor, you have a story, you have emotion. And so the more we can inject that and put that through the internet with written copy, video, audio, all that stuff, the more successful we are because people have not changed. They will never change. They want to have a sense of community and connection and camaraderie. And you've got to integrate that into your content online. Otherwise, people don't feel a connection if it's just cold jargon, et cetera. So uh, people are saying yes, yes, yes in the comments. Um, all right. More email tips. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Love it. Okay, good. Exactly. Steven says I'm going to use this. Good, good, good. All right. Um, oh, Ellen is talking about Ellen just signed up for done for you with us, which is awesome. Nice to see you, Ellen. But basically, I collect my best subject lines and just save them. And you just have, you know, dozens and dozens of them. The best subject lines are conversational, right? They're just things that come up. Email works best when you write like you talk. What is that? Did you see that? Whoa. Right. Like, just listen to how I'm talking. Those are all subject lines. Did you see that? What do you think? Where did that go? How did that happen? Oh my gosh, curious, right? There's like 10 subject lines you can use. So uh, no, you won't run out. Okay, so before I run out, um, I wanna share more training because I know people are digging this. They want more email marketing training. So what I'm gonna do is I've got another video I wanna queue up, another deep dive into kind of how I construct emails, give you some more tips on subject lines, all that good stuff. And then we'll talk even more about it. So without further ado, let's dive into more training. Hey, it's John Nemo. So I thought I would show you something interesting, a little bit of how the sausage is made, <laughs> the digital sausage. So what I did, uh, I just recorded and uploaded a new podcast episode. And I wanted to walk you through a little bit of the mindset and the techniques that go into then promoting that content, kind of building out that content funnel. Because of course, obviously, you know, people who subscribe to the podcast, uh, Nemo Radio here in the iTunes store and everywhere else, you know, Know, they're going to automatically have the podcast just pop into their feed when it refreshes. So it's getting delivered that way. But I also want to share the podcast with my larger audience, with people that maybe haven't listened yet or haven't subscribed to the podcast. So what I'm going to walk you through right now is how I do the email marketing for a piece of content. Because I know that's a question I get all the time is, hey, I like your marketing emails. How do you do them? What's the thought process? So right now I'm inside Entreport, which is my email marketing software that I use, and I'm going to send out a blast message. And what you can see, you know, at the top, I have the theme of the email and then who it's from, all that stuff. The subject line, obviously, I always want to put a lot of thought into. And in this one, I'm going to say, you know, a curiosity kind of play. The big secret experts aren't telling you. And the two things I want to really illustrate with a good email marketing approach is you've got to tie together the subject line, which is right here, and the first sentence or two. OK, uh, you really want to just suck people in so that they open the note. Right. You, you know, <laughs> you can't expect people to get excited about a subject line that just said new podcast episode. Right. Or listen now. Right. It has to be like curiosity invoking. Well, what is the big secret that these you know, and I'm putting quotes around experts like the the intonation here is 
what are these so-called experts not telling you, right? And then with the first line, I'm really trying to, to pull people in. I first discovered it back in 1997. It's helped dictate all my success as a result. Ooh, okay. So now I feel like we're moving into, you know, the secret territory, right? <laughs> Remember that from like a decade or two ago? Like, the secret, the secret. Like, okay, it's not that. It's not hocus pocus. Um, and then I talk, I pivot into, you know, why aren't more people sharing it? And then I quickly move into I'll unpack the secret and how it impacts your business on this episode of Nemo Radio, which is the podcast. And then what I do is I've noticed I get more clicks if I make it very clear in the hyperlink what the call to action is. So I use words like listen or I use words like if it's a blog post, instead of the word listen, I'd say read or if it's a webinar or a training video, I would say watch. Like put a little all capital word in there that's a call to action. Listen, read, watch so they know what to do, right? And then obviously the text is hyperlinked and it's following, it's kind of tying into the subject line. The the big secret experts aren't telling you, listen, here's the big secret, right? And then I just kind of end with one more line. I haven't even finished the email yet, so <laughs> I haven't sent it yet. Um, and then I do a little signature, you know, John Nemo, whatever it is. Okay, but here's the other thing that goes into email marketing that I don't know how many people check this. So I email myself a copy. You can send a test email here in Entreport, send a test email to your you know, email address, whatever. And then what I do is I look at it on my iPhone. So let me... This is actually what it looks like on my iPhone here, okay? So you can see the big secret experts aren't telling you. And you can see I've sent it to myself several times over the last few minutes. And the reason is I'm really checking to see two things. One is does this subject line fit on one line on a standard iPhone mobile device? And then also is the first sentence right here you know, readable and does it draw people in? And so you can see with the earlier versions of this, you know, I first discovered it back in 19, the very bottom one, and it's helped dictate blah, 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 but it kind of runs out of room. And the second one, I first discovered it in 1997, it's helped dictate all of my professional success as a blah, 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 blah. So like what I wanted to do was shorten, 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 trim, trim, trim. So now the first sentence, I first discovered it back in 1997, and it's helped dictate all of my success as a result. That's a strong sentence. If you combine the subject line and that first sentence, that's going to intrigue people to say, okay, what is it? It's over 20 years ago he discovered this secret. It's something that experts aren't sharing with me. What is it, right? And so that's the key to really getting people on the email marketing side to open it up. Send it to yourself as a test email and look at it on your mobile device. This is the inbox on my iPhone. So I can see you know, sending multiple versions with changing the first sentence around Am I going to get sucked in as a reader with this headline and the first sentence? If not, I might delete it or pass on or come back to it later. So you cannot afford a lot of exposition, a lot of you know talking and, and setting stuff up. Just get right to the chase. Just like a good book, just like the opening sentence of a great article or a great book, they suck you in with some kind of story or some kind of scenario or some kind of situation. And in this case, I first discovered it back in 1997. I feel like I'm Indiana Jones, right? Like, what is it? What did you uncover? You know, so that's the idea behind this. And then once I get all this queued up, then I'll send it out. Um, but this is an idea of repurposing the content. And then the landing page where I say, listen, the other thing with podcast marketing that I've found is as I send people to this landing page and you can see it's got different options. The way that podcasts work is some people don't want to listen to it on my website, right? So I've got a whole player here with all the different episodes. You can go through, you can play them right on the site, et cetera, et cetera. Some people like to do that and some people will play it right on the site. Other people would rather just click and have it redirect to their iTunes app or their Stitcher app or SoundCloud, right? And what I want to do right away is give people options, especially on their mobile phone, of their preferred you know, way to consume a podcast. So what I do with my website software... I just use WordPress and Optimize Press. I put up a logo, you know, the iTunes or the Stitcher or the SoundCloud logo, and I make it clickable. I make it a hyperlink so that if you click on this logo, 
it redirects you to my iTunes URL for the podcast. Same with Stitcher, same with SoundCloud. But right below that, of course, then I have the full podcast player, and this new episode will pop in here and replace the one with AJ Wilcox. And then below it, you know, I just have the podcast description, and again, some text links to those different channels, the three channels that I put it on. I also have it like on Google Play and other places, so eventually I can add those in. Um, But this is a very effective way to increase the listens. Remember, your audience wants it fast and easy. Me, personally, I'm an iTunes listener. I never mess with Stitcher. I don't care about SoundCloud, right? Let me try to exit out. All right, so I'm exiting out of that one because then I just riffed about podcasts in a little bit. But that's the idea, right, is understanding the kind of the nuance and the secret sauce of what goes into effective email. Again, to kind of summarize, very conversational, very much, you know, kind of putting in that emotion, that personality, putting the real you through the computer into the email is key. Sharing your journey, transparency, authenticity. People want to feel like they can connect with you. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. Okay. Do you want more? So put in the comments if you want more, type yes or type more. Do something here. Let me get my other hockey glove. All right. I feel like I can make my point more strongly with hockey gloves. Although in hockey, when we want to fight and get aggressive, we drop the gloves. Did you notice, too, I didn't shave to complete the costume? I have my playoff beard going. So uh, I'm full hockey nerd today. Listen, if you want more, tell me. Who wants more? I need to know. Type it in the comments. Yes, more, more, more. That's I can hear Yvonne screaming through the computer. That's the idea. You're shouting in all caps, Yvonne. That's what it's about. I love it. I love it. All right. Tell me in the comments if you want more. If you want to join Yvonne. I'm dropping the gloves. Let's duke it out because I got so much stuff. I do have too many teeth for hockey horse. This is true, true, true. Okay. So what I want to share with you um, is kind of to answer some questions about what others, like Jerry and others, asked about. Harbinger says more. Glory. All right. I've got all of this encapsulated in an online course for you called Email Marketing Machine. And so I'm going to put it up right now, and then I'm going to show you what's in the course so you can decide if you want to jump in and join me today inside the full program. Okay, so it's called Email Marketing Machine. It's going to be popping up on your screen. Uh, I'll make sure it pops open in a new tab. And then I want to walk through what's in it because I've been updating the course. So if you don't have it already, um, you're going to want to grab this. And if you do have it and haven't used the course in a while, you're going to want to log in and grab uh, material. So an email marketing machine here. I'm putting it in the chat. All right. Boom. There's a link. It should be popped up on the screen too. And then I want to show you a little bit more about it. Um, so let me share my screen. And you guys, everybody should see my screen. And then I'm going to walk over. So right now, um, I've got a special offer for everybody watching right now here live, 50% off. So this is normally a $300 course. You're going to get it for 50% off, $147. And then here you're going to see like all my courses, 30-day money-back guarantee, everything you discover. But here's where I want to go. I want to show you inside the actual live course, like in Thinkific. So let me pull that up. You can see here what we cover, right? So the actual style, strategy, and structure, how to make it the lifeblood of your business, What's really cool is I actually put in here how I personally train copywriters for Nemo Media Group. So you're going to get the exact training that I give to my own team, the high-end copywriters that we use for clients on done-for-you projects with our marketing agency. This is literally the exact training I give them. You're going to get access to that today right here, both the video and then also write the, the, you know, the copy, the exact things. And then as we go through it, you're going to see, right, some of the different um, deep dives, anatomy of an email. I have a whole group training for over an hour where I went through all my favorite kind of email marketing tips, and I give sample landing pages and subject lines. You're going to get all of the swipe files that I have. So you're never going to need to come up with a new subject line. You can see here, right, I've got exact emails and subject lines to just take. So the idea is you can copy paste, right? You can literally come in, take these subject lines, fill in the blank. I've actually also got emails you can use. These are some of the most high performing emails I've ever seen or created or used. And they're really designed so that you can come in and just fill in the blank. You can literally come in and insert your piece of content and use these. That's the idea with this is depending on the topic or the subject, 
I've got emails already written that you literally copy, paste, and insert a link to whatever your next step is, a call, a program, a product. So it doesn't get any easier, right, than just using emails I already wrote. I've got a whole section on cold emails and how to follow up with leads and how to reach out to leads, all kinds of stuff in here. This is one of the most robust courses I've ever created. Um, so you really understand, you know, how to get into email marketing fast and efficiently and easily. So really all the guesswork is taken out. Okay. So there's also guest interviews and guest blogs in here on, you know, how Chris Brogan and Amy Porterfield and other people use email. So I've got tons and tons of stuff in here for you. I mean, again, you can get it right now for half off. You can get it right now for half off. So I want to get back to this screen and make sure people have, and Yvonne says, genius. All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. So Tell me in the chat if you're signing up because I want to go crazy. I want to go bonkers. I want to celebrate. And I've got a little trick or treat for anyone else that signs up today. For anyone that signs up live right now, I'm going to give you a second course for free. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> if you sign up right now, if you sign up right now and tell me in the chat live, I'm going to give you a second course for free. And I'll let you pick it. I'll send you a link. I have over a dozen online courses, but as a little Halloween bonus, if you sign up for email marketing machine today for half off, right? $147, I'm going to give you a second course for free. So like, there's no reason not to do this. And by the way, this comes with a risk-free 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, let me do this. Let me show you. Uh, all my bonus courses. So uh, again, I'm going to give you a second course for free, but you have to sign up right now. Okay. You have to do it right now. And you have to tell me in the live chat, I'm signing up this type I'm in or getting it or something like that. And I've got all these other courses. So you can go and pick a second course for free to add. So if you want to get one of my LinkedIn courses free, if you want a webinars course free sales course, mindset, psychology of why people buy, Obviously, here's the email course, uh, which I'm not even offering right now. So that's another thing. You can't even get into this. Talk about legitimate scarcity. I forgot. You can't even buy this right now. <laughs> so I'm only opening it up right now. Um, I've got the on-demand experts, mindset, secret sauce, content, podcasting. You're going to get any one of these for free if you sign up right now. So you need to tell me in the chat, yes, I'm signing up. Um, I'm taking action. Again, it's just one payment of $147. You get lifetime access to the course. You literally get copy paste emails, copy paste subject lines, fill in the blank. You get all the psychology. Uh, I walk you through with videos and templates how to do this, how to set up email funnels, everything you need. Um, and really, I cannot emphasize enough how critical this is for a successful business. It has literally been the lifeblood of my business. Uh, Gosh, for over a decade. I remember uh, Michael Hyatt was a guy. <laughs> if you follow Michael Hyatt, um, who talked about it's a license to print money. When you figure out email marketing and email list, and it really is, and that's all hype and hyperbole aside, if you do it the right way. So tell me in the chat if you're signing up. Um, all right, Yvonne says, do it, do it, do it. All right, glory. All right, join Yvonne, get in here. Let's go, let's go. I love it. Um, tell me in the chat if you're signing up. Again, you can have off the course. You're getting uh, another course free. So you're getting two for one, um, you get 30 day money back guarantee. And what else, what other questions do you have? If you have questions, all right, Sean says he's signing up. Idaho's finest is signing up. Sean, should I send you, what was it, Almond Joy? I can't remember, let me look down, I'm looking down for Sean. Sean, glory! What's your favorite candy? Where's Sean? Oh, he. did you not share, tell me your favorite candy, Sean. Now I'm dying, I gotta know. I know you're in Idaho. I know you brand into marketing. I can't remember your favorite candy. Maybe I need to like, you know, overnight you some candy. All right. Love it. Yvonne and Sean are in. So, all right. Mark just registered. Mark is signing up. Fantastic news. All right. Love it. Here's what to do. Um, for those of you that are signing up. So glory, Mark, Sean, Yvonne, um, email me with what course you want. So I'm going to link you to the bonuses, uh, the bonus page. So, Look over in the chat, um, pick your bonus course here. Okay, so pick a bonus course from that page for everyone that's signing up right now, Sean, Mark, Yvonne, everybody else. Almond Joyce, that's it, Sean, thank you. And then email me, 
john at nemomediagroup.com. Email me which course you want from that page, and I'll give you access to that for free. And it's today only. You have to sign up right now um, while we're here, um, and I'm going to get you going. So see, Mark is in. Sean is signing up. Love it, love it. Yvonne is signing up. Let me get you uh, the link to, to the email marketing because obviously you got to sign up for that first. And again, you're getting a course that's going to give you the blueprint to build your business. And again, to answer those questions like Jerry and other people had earlier, you don't have to do it every day. You can do it once a week. You can set it up so it just runs over and over and over again. That's the key with email marketing is people opt in once. They give you their email once and you can send multiple messages and using the different CRMs and decision trees and tools, it makes it very easy to just kind of scale that quickly. So love it, love it, love it. Okay. So let me say, yeah, tell me in the chat if you're getting it. So I know to look out for your name uh, because you want the bonus course too. Uh, So get email marketing machine and your free bonus course here, putting that in the chat and then uh, I'll pop open a new window let me know again in the chat if you're signing up because I see tons of people still around. Um, there's also a chat button on that page. So let me show you that. Um, let's see. We've got more people coming in. All right. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. I see Sean is in. I see Mark is in. Yvonne, I'm waiting for yours to come through. So you guys are all getting bonus courses. Um, let's do this. I want to share my screen very quick and show you one other thing. And if you have questions while we're here live, just put them in the chat here in the webinar. Uh, and I can answer those. All right, Sean wants sales scripts and strategies. Okay, email me that, Sean. I'm going to send that to you. Um, wanted to show people, yeah, there's also a live chat. So on the email checkout page, obviously, here's all the info. And then you can click down here and live chat with me one-on-one too. So on the actual page, that's me privately. We can talk one-on-one. So Sean, I'll get you hooked up with the sales scripts and strategies. You're going to love that course. Um, that one's right here. So Sean's getting that course for free. Let's see how much money I just gave away to you. 500 bucks. Oops. <laughs> oh my God. I need to wear, I need to take this helmet off and get my head examined. Uh, you just got $500 out of me, Sean. Nicely done. Idaho, you just worked me over. Congratulations. That's a lot of almond joys. But listen, I am passionate about this. The reason I'm trying to get people to sign up today is I know what a difference it makes. I know like Sean, you have a nice one-two punch here with the, the email marketing and the sales scripts and strategies that kind of go hand in hand, right? With the ability to close people and get them on your email list, get them engaged through email, route them into a call or whatever it is, but then how do you close them, right? What do you say on the sales conversation? You now have that. So I will add that for you, Sean. Um, that's a free course. You get that for free today, right? So there's all these different choices for anyone else that signs up for email marketing today, like Sean has and other folks are. All right, love it, love it, love it. Um, so again, let me know in the chat if you're signing up. I'm trying to see if there's other questions, uh, any other folks. There's lots of people hanging out. Um, I, I am curious for those of you that don't do email marketing in your business, tell me in the chat why you don't do it. I'd love to know if, I know we had a poll earlier that said, Do you do email marketing for your business? Yes or no? Um, Tell me if you do not do email marketing yet, why? I'd love to know that in the chat. I'm just curious genuinely because I feel like that is something that's so critical and I want to know what's holding people back from not doing email marketing. Regardless of whether you sign up today, uh, that's totally fine. But I'm just curious because for me at least, as much as people know me for LinkedIn lead generation and all the other stuff, I have found the email marketing is the most effective tool in my business. You know, other than writing a book and using that as a lead magnet, which is front end marketing, as far as getting engagement and back and forth and building rapport, emails have been gold and have really, that's why I've kind of devised a course that's basically my blueprint, you know, you swipe all my stuff. So I'm curious if you haven't signed up uh, or haven't used email in your business, why that is. So put that in the chat if you like. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know we're going to hit the top of the hour. I need to go get some Halloween candy at this point, my little sugar rush. But Sean, Yvonne, Mark, anybody else that's signing up, let me know what bonus course you want. Sean, I know it's sales scripts and strategies, so I'll get you squared away. Uh, If anybody else is signing up, let me know uh, either in the chat or email me, john at nemomediagroup.com, and I'll put that back in um, just in case uh, the live webinar doesn't work. So 
email me for your bonus course. John at Nemo Media Group.com. Okay, cool. So here's what I want to do. I want to make sure everybody has a chance to get signed up before we finish here live. Um, and I, again, anyone that signs up right now, here's what you're getting. You're getting half off the email marketing machine course, normally 300, you get it for 147 and you get a second course for free. And my other courses go anywhere from $500 to $2,000. You're getting that included. So you're getting a scary good deal. How's that for Halloween hyperbole? <laughs> I love it. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to hop over to this page um, and do some live one-on-one -on -one chats because I see there's some people there uh, looking that might have chats. So let me share my screen quick. If you want to, just hop over to this page, um, click on the chat with John Nemo. Uh, I can talk to you there one-on-one, -on -one, um, give you any insight or answers or ideas you need personally so you don't have to do it in the group chat. And then what we can do uh, also there is I can link you to this page where you can pick a bonus course and you can say, oh, I really want the one on you know, mindset or I want the one on content or podcasting or whatever it is. So amazing, amazing opportunity. I cannot wait for you guys to dive in and get access to this. You're going to love it. I know what a difference it makes to have kind of a proven path and have it kind of cut to the front of the line as far as like, here's what works. I mean, having sent probably... I don't know, 500,000 emails the last decade. Like I've kind of figured out what gets opened, what doesn't get opened, all that good stuff. So without further ado, um, we can hop over there, get you started. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions in the page. I will put that in one more time just in case it didn't open for people. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. And then uh, let's go from there. So thanks everybody for being on the live session. Sign up right now. You get all the bonuses. I'll hop over and meet you in the one-on-one -on -one chat. And have a great weekend, and we'll go from there. Thanks.